In today's video, we're showcasing more than 20 new updates from WrestleMania 40, with these including brand new attires, updated superstars, and even a brand new celebrity. So let's jump straight into this one, where we're starting out with an entire update from the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre, as Soyel Roo has released Drew's black attire from WrestleMania Sunday. McIntyre's has been a journey of redemption, of making up for lost time. Drew has taken titles and main events by force. Also from Soyel Roo, we have an updated attire for Kevin Owens that features his yearly take on the WrestleMania poster, with this one seeing a recreation of the WrestleMania 7 poster, with Orton and Owens replacing Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan, while Logan Paul is slotted into the middle. This attire also sees Owens' logos recreated in the style of the classic ECW logo, which are featured on the shorts. Also from the US title match, we have an attire update for Randy Orton, as Game Vault has released an updated Orton that comes with two attires. The first one is his Mania attire with the black trunks and the gold logos, while the second one sees a similar pair of trunks featuring a blue and silver design. Up next, we have one half of the new Raw Tag Team Champions, as Legit Attires has released an updated version of R-Truth, with this one featuring his awesome Truth attire with his new What's Up shirt. Completing the awesome truth, Legit Attires has also dropped an updated version of The Miz, with this one featuring a matching attire that sees him enter in his silver jacket, while the ring attire features his black gear with the awesome truth designs. Staying with the stars of the tag team ladder match, we also have some attire updates for New Catch Republic, starting with Tyler Bate, as creator Astro Twins has released an updated version of Bate featuring his green and yellow outfit, with the same creator also sharing a matching outfit for Pete Dunne, though I did notice there was a bit of a glitch in the entrance on this one, as the hair kept disappearing for some reason, but it was then fine during the match, and also during the victory scene. Alongside the green attires from Mania, this one also comes with an alternate blue and gold outfit, so if you're looking for some updated attires, then this one comes with two. Also featuring in the tag team ladder match, we have one half of the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, as Absolution Cause has released an updated version of Austin Theory, with this one featuring his Mania attire that sees him dressed in white and green, with the Austin Theory logo recreated in the style of WrestleMania 40. If you want to pick up a matching attire for Grayson Waller, then Create a Finesse Cause has uploaded this matching outfit, though I did have a few issues downloading this one, as the download kept stopping halfway, which I don't know if it was down at the server or a problem with the creation, but if you want to try downloading it, then this one was uploaded by Finesse Cause, hashtag 70544. Moving on, let's talk the Intercontinental Championship match, where following up his earlier creations, Legit Attires has also released an updated version of Gunther, with this one seeing him in his new red attire. Also from Legit Attires, we have the man who would go on to dethrone Gunther and become the new Intercontinental Champion, as I've also uploaded this new outfit for Sami Zayn, which sees him in his black outfit, with his new Contender jacket featuring a similar logo to the style of Gunther. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. Also included with this one is Sammy's attire from the Raw After Mania show, as the creator has included his new t-shirt with the Yokadija I Did It text, which is what he tweeted to his wife shortly after the victory. Up next, we have a brand new superstar that you can download, as Rebel Cause has released a WrestleMania 40 version of Snoop Dogg, who made a guest appearance on commentary. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. Switching over to the women's side, we have the newly crowned WWE Women's Champion Bailey, as great as Jean Lucas has done a great job recreating Bailey's attire. She popped those crappy inflatable friends to become a bona fide role model. Yeah, it was the worst night of Byron's life. Also from Jean Lucas, we have an updated attire for Dakota Kai, as alongside Bailey, they've also released Dakota's Mania attire, with this one seeing her dressed in black. Next up, we have a modded version of Rhea Ripley, as creator Will Amazing has done an incredible job in recreating Rhea's attire, which also includes her face paint, as Will was able to update Rhea's model and apply the face paint as a custom texture, resulting in this awesome new version. Well, the nightmare has come to WrestleMania. Feels like yesterday that Rhea Ripley made her WrestleMania debut, becoming the first superstar to defend their NXT Championship at the Showcase of Immortals. That night, she did so against Charlotte Flair. 
Up next, let's talk carrying Cross. As creator Dave the Wave has released Cross's new WrestleMania attire, though as this one uses the regular version of Cross from the base game, Dave suggests also downloading this updated version of Cross from What's the Status. Should you download both versions, you can edit Status's version with the hair mod and then use the import parts option to copy over the new attire which will allow you to piece together an updated version of Cross featuring his mania attire and the long hair. Moving on, we also have some attire updates for the Usos, with the first of these seeing two new attires for Jay, as Soyel Roo has uploaded Jay's white attire from WrestleMania, with this one coming complete with the Ula Fala and his new Yeet glasses. Also included with this one is Jay's regular attire from Raw, with this one featuring his usual Yeet shirt and the glasses. Switching over to Jimmy, this one comes from creator Yannick, who's done a great job in recreating his red attire from WrestleMania. You might have noticed that Jimmy's moving a little quicker now that he's on his own. He doesn't have Jay weighing him down. Next up, we have the final boss, The Rock, as Game Vault has uploaded a really good, accurate version of The Rock's Mania attire, with this one seeing him come out in his black and red gear for the entrance, and then his ring gear featuring his new black trunks with the classic designs. Switching over to the second attire, this one also comes with The Rock's attire from the March 25th episode of Raw, where he beat down Cody Rhodes. A standout in college football, one of the greatest performers in WWE history, and now the biggest star on the planet. Speaking of Cody, we can't leave him out given the night that he had, as he topped off one of the greatest WrestleManias ever, and should you want to recreate that moment in 2K24, then the best version of Cody that I've found is this one from creator Mr. Dude of the World, as not only have they created an accurate version of Cody's ring attire, but they've also done the best job that I've seen of attempting to recreate the mask he wore during his entrance. If you want to download Cody, then you can find this one under the hashtag CodyRoadsXL. Finally, for those that want to download the WrestleMania 40 Arena, the version that I would suggest downloading is this one by Keyboard Music LTD, hashtag 14456. While it's not really possible to create an accurate version of the stage, I thought this one was really well done, especially with the way that they've added the giant XL. If you do download this one, one change that I would suggest making is changing the arena venue to one of the indoor arenas, as there's a bug with outdoor stadiums that breaks the stage lighting and sees everyone enter in darkness, though if you change the venue to one of the indoor arenas, then that'll fix the problem until 2K update it. So there's a bunch of new updates coming out of WrestleMania, let me know what you make of them in the comments, and stay tuned to the channel for more updated creations. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, have yourself an awesome day. I'll catch you later.